Folks, America cannot go back. I'm here to, tonight to show what I believe is the way forward, because I know how far we come. Four years ago next week, before I came to office, the country was hit by the worst pandemic and the worst economic crisis in a century. Remember the fear? Record losses? Remember the spikes in crime and the murder rate? Raging virus that took more than one million American lives of loved ones, millions left behind? A mental health crisis of isolation and loneliness. A president, my predecessor, failed the most basic presidential duty that he owes to American people, the duty to care. I think that's unforgivable. I came to office determined to get us through one of the toughest periods in the nation's history. We have. It doesn't make new, but in a news in a thousand cities and towns, the American people are writing the greatest comeback story never told. <laughs> so let's tell the story here. Tell it here and now. America's comeback is building the future of American possibilities, building an economy from the middle out and the bottom up, not the top down, investing in all America, in all Americans, to make every sure everyone has a fair shot and we leave no one, no one behind. The pandemic no longer controls our lives. The vaccines that saved us from COVID are now being used to beat cancer, turning setback into comeback. That's what America does. That's what America does. <clears throat> Folks, I inherited economies on the brink. Now our economy is literally the envy of the world. 15 million new jobs in just three years, a record. A record. <laughs> Unemployment at 50 year lows. A record 16 million Americans are starting small businesses, and each one is a literal act of hope. With historic job growth and small business growth for black and Hispanics and Asian Americans, 800,000 new manufacturing jobs in America and counting. Where is it written we can't be the manufacturing capital of the world? We are, we will. More people have health insurance today. More people have health insurance today than ever before. The racial wealth gap is as small as it's been in 20 years. Wages keep going up, inflation keeps coming down. Inflation has dropped from 9% to 3%, the lowest in the world, and tending lower. The landing is and will be soft. And now, instead of importing, importing foreign products and exporting American jobs, we're exporting American products and creating American jobs. Right here in America, where they belong. And it takes time, but the American people are beginning to feel it. Consumer studies show consumer confidence is soaring. Buy America has been the law of the land since the 1930s. Past administrations, including my pre predecessor, including some Democrats as well in the past, failed to buy American. Not anymore. On my watch, federal projects that you fund, like helping build American roads, bridges, and highways, will be made with American products and built by American workers. creating good-paying American jobs. And thanks to our Chips and Science Act, the United States is investing more in research and development than ever before. During the pandemic, a shortage of semiconductors, chips, that drove up the price of everything from cell phones to automobiles. And by the way, we invented those chips right here in America. Well, instead of having to import them, Instead of we've, private companies are now investing billions of dollars to build new chip factories here in America, creating tens of thousands of jobs. Many of those jobs paying $100,000 a year and don't require a college degree.